Hey guys, welcome to my channel, She Talk Systems. My name is Nicola and I am so excited for today's video. I'm gonna be walking you through the core spaces that you can use in ClickUp as a service provider. So if you're new to ClickUp and you're wondering exactly how it all works and what you need to have in place, then hopefully this video will just give you some clarity on how you can actually get started. So for those of you who are new, be sure to like and subscribe on this video so that you can also get updates on other videos that are shared. So what I do want to break down is I'm going to walk you through the hierarchy of ClickUp and just the structure hierarchy of what ClickUp has. And then we're going to talk through the actual spaces that will really support your business as a service provider. And then I'm just going to give you a quick overview on just where to start if you are new to setting up ClickUp or you're looking to transition from a different platform into ClickUp, then I'll just give you some walkthrough tips on how you can do that. So first of all, ClickUp has a hierarchy. And essentially what that is, is you'll have your overall workspace. So the workspace is either your business workspace or what you name it after yourself. Um, but the workspace houses everything, the tasks, the spaces, the folders and everything. So within that workspace, that's where you will create spaces within ClickUp. So the spaces are essentially, if you're thinking from an organizational chart, just imagine it as like your different departments and so that's how you can picture those in your mind and that's where you can get an idea of how to start setting those up and then your next areas within ClickUp then after you have your workspace you then have spaces and then you have the option of using folders where you can group your task list together and so the folders is where you can really start to group various areas together and then you have lists where you will house your actual tasks within the task list and again you can have your lists for various different areas you can have lists in place and then you have your tasks which are housed within the list so it gives you a bit of a quick breakdown you have the main workspace, your spaces, folders, lists, and then the tasks are housed within the list. So that's how it works within ClickUp in terms of the hierarchy. So it may be slightly different if you use other platforms. There's always that period of time where you just need to get used to how things are structured out. Once you've overcome that structure, then we start to look at setting up the spaces. So in this video, what I want to do is go through the core spaces that have helped me help my clients inside of their service-based business. So the first space, which is is always a hit is having a HQ or a CEO space. So this HQ area is really going to allow you to house everything that is to do with running the business, right? So as the CEO, you want to be able to manage your HR, have your operations tasks and um, have goals and tracking in place. You may also bring your sales and CRM process into ClickUp as well. So you do have the option of adding these areas as spaces if you wish. However, I always find that just placing them under the HQ works really well for my clients, works really well for me. So within these areas, when we talk about HR, that could be your team hiring process, your onboarding process for your team members, and you will break these areas into their own folders as well. So you'll have the main space and then you'll have the different folders in place that you can actually use and incorporate the workflow or the process for that particular area. For goals and tracking, that's a huge deal. You can track your goals and you can set up tracking within ClickUp, which works really, really well. And so you can set up your list to have the different views so that they actually complement the area that you are focusing on within that particular space and goals and tracking are a huge deal as well within ClickUp. Another space that you do want to consider if you are going to be managing your tasks and your workload within ClickUp is definitely a client space. Now you can bring your clients into their own areas so if you're using clients I always recommend splitting out the folders per client. So if you have client one, they will have their own folder, client two will have their own folder, client three, and so on. And what this does is within each folder, what you can have are specific lists. So it could be an onboarding list or key details, strategic strategy list information, and then you actually have the main task list. So these would be separate lists within the folder. And if you have 
recurring projects, you can actually template this out, which makes the process much easier. So you can literally create a template folder with all the same tasks that are actually going to be executed by your team, by yourself. And then you can just duplicate that folder, use that template every time you have a new client coming on board to work with you. And that again, works really well. So if you are using the client space or the client folders, if you are actually inviting your clients into ClickUp, what that also means is that you can assign them their own task list, for example. So you can choose what you share with your clients and you can also choose the type of access they have, which I absolutely love. So if you want to have clients who can just view the task, but they don't have any control, they can't edit any of the information, they can just see that it's there and that the team are working on it, you can absolutely do that. If you do want to invite your clients in so that they have more access and they can share more details, you can also do that as well. You can also have their own individual client list, which is really great. And clients will go through and if they have specific actions that you need them to do, you can task them to your clients. Your clients can close those tasks down when they're completed. So that's how you can actually use your client space. And drop a comment below if you would like me to do another video on how to manage clients within ClickUp and I can do that for you. So another space that I highly recommend having is actually a template space. Now, the reason that I say to have a template space is currently ClickUp allows you to update your template so you can create template lists, tasks, folders, spaces, if you wish. However, having a template space, what that means is that you can house all of your current company templates. And every time you need to update a template, you can just go straight into that template and then just update it straight away. So this is something, an area that ClickUp hopefully will work on. And maybe I'll do an updated video in future when this change, if this change comes about. But right now, if you make any updates to a template, you do need to go into the template, open up the template, make the change change, save it down. So the way that we avoid you having to do that is by having a template space with all of your templates there already. And then you can just go in make the change, make the update, and then it's already updated and you can just use that template whenever you need. You don't have to worry about your team saying, what template is this? Which one do I need to update? What change? And all of that, it eliminate all of that mess, okay? And make it super simple for yourselves, right? We're all about simplicity. So the next space, which is an area that I actually do have for my YouTube channel in this video, I'm going to call it your marketing space. And you can house your marketing under your CEO HQ if you wish, or you can separate out the marketing into its own space. Now, there's no rules with any of these platforms, you guys, there are really no rules as to how you set this up. It is pretty much just how you work in your business, right? Everyone's process is different. But when you set up a marketing space, you can essentially have lists or folders for different areas. So if you do a lot of podcast pitching or you have a podcast or a YouTube channel, for example, you can literally set up your management workflow within that area, within that space, the marketing space. But if you have a lot of content that goes out, so you're planning content for your social media, for your email marketing, again, all of that can be housed in that one space. And so if you do have anyone that is working with you specifically on that area it's a really easy way for you to just keep those tasks in that area you can organize everything down so you might have PR requests that you're working on whether it's lives whether you do live interviews with individuals or you submit articles online you can again have workflows in place in your ClickUp for that specific reason so those are the core spaces that I would highly recommend implementing when you are setting up ClickUp and you may think well where on earth do I start in terms of setting up spaces so start with those spaces that we've discussed. So have a CEO HQ space, have a client space, have a marketing space and make sure you have a space for your templates. You will start to utilize the templates, I promise you. And so when you actually get started with these areas, then you can look to expand your platform even more and you can really dive into what ClickUp can offer. This is the tip of the iceberg, you guys. I have not even gone into the detail of what ClickUp can really do for your business. So this really is the tip of the iceberg, it is the basics. 
these spaces will help you get started straight away. So if you are moving over from a different platform, perhaps you use a different project management tool and you're looking at using ClickUp in your business instead, then hopefully this video has given you some ideas of just how you could structure your new setup. And if you are struggling or you're looking to work with someone, then definitely be sure to visit the link below in the description and you can apply to work with myself and my team and we can help you to implement ClickUp and other systems inside of your business so that you can be set up and ready to go. So I hope you enjoyed this video. Thank you so much for stopping by. Thank you for watching. Please still be sure to subscribe and like this video. And if you subscribe, you will obviously hear about other videos that are being added to the channel. You can also connect with me on social media. My Instagram is in the description below, Nicola Melinda Consulting. And my Facebook group, She Talk Systems, is where you can also connect with me there as well. Have an amazing day, you guys. And thank you so much for watching.